Welcome back to the channel. In the last video, if you haven't seen it, I took the Mini for a spin after having changed a few bits and it was driving a lot better than uh, what it was. The emissions were a bit high because I've cut the internals out of the cat, which if you've been following as well, you'll, uh, you'll see why I did that. Um, but I've constantly, pretty much every single video that I've had, there's been people comments about the bypass valve, about checking that. So when I serviced the supercharger i believe it was i did look at the bypass valve and you know it seemed spring all right and uh, and that sort of thing so i've always thought it's okay but then i came across on facebook um a company called rooster racing and they remanufacture old bypass valves and they fit an upgraded spring which apparently gives you marginally more power um, and uh, and that sort of thing. So it is £83 delivered if you're in the UK and you get a choice of uh, vacuum line colours. So uh, I've gone for red because, you know, red is a uh, racy colour, so it's got to be worth 10 horsepower. Um, and then if you send your old one back so he can refurbish that with a new spring, etc., he will refund you £20 through uh, PayPal. So I've got the box here, and as I said, you can choose the colour of your vacuum line. So I've gone for red, just because the other vacuum line that I replaced on there is red. So there is an upgraded spring in there, which, feeling that, does feel a lot stiffer than what it does on uh, the one on the car. So you get your nice little rooster racing sticker, and you get a little thing to fill out your, your PayPal and that sort of stuff, and a return label, so then you can just post that back. But looking at this, as I say, you get a choice of colours. I can't remember what they are now, but uh, it's also been adjusted. So your the valve, or the, the butterfly valve in there seals absolutely perfectly. So for 83 quid, and then if you get 20 quid back for your old one, for 60 quid, I thought it's worth a go just uh, to change this over and um, see if it makes any difference. At least that rules it out then. And, you know, at the end of the day, 60 quid. It's not a massive uh, pot of gold to uh, to try changing it. So uh, we'll now go through the motions and the steps on uh, how to change it. Removing the intercooler is quite simple. It's the four bolts on the top, and then you just have to remove these brackets before the clamps that hold the snood boots onto each side of the intercooler. So now that's off, you can see the top of the bypass valve a bit better. So you can see it sitting on, on the base of this trumpet going onto the intake manifold with the air pipe going in the bottom there which goes back into the intake so it's uh, it's not the easiest thing to get to but I think if we undo that nut there that nut there that nut there we should then be able to take this off if we undo the jubilee clips for that pipe we should then be able to hopefully get the whole unit off in one go because looking at this you can see obviously bolts on it goes that way around so obviously bolts onto the trumpet and then the other end is just the pipe so uh, we'll give it a go might be a bit awkward on mine because when i serviced the supercharger i think it was i got a new bit of pipe down there which is uh, really really stiff so uh, no doubt that's gonna fight me a little bit but we we shall see first of all i remove the air intake just to allow better access to the area where i want to work i can then loosen off the jubilee clips that hold the pipe onto the bypass valve it's then a bit of a struggle, but you can remove the three nuts that hold the trumpet onto the intake manifold. So, it's not going to be quite as easy as I thought I've got that undone. I've got the three 11 mils holding the trumpet on. I don't know whether you can see. You've got the arm, uh, there we go, of the bypass valve. It's hitting on this bracket for the throttle body. So uh, let's have a look and uh, see if we can just undo that slightly and get that out of the way. So to access that bracket, I've got to remove the throttle body. To remove the throttle body, there's various bits of pipe that have got to come off. And there is one electrical connection and then I can access the 10 mil bolts. There's four of them to remove the throttle body from the pipe that goes to the supercharger. So as you can see in that time lapse, it's, uh, it's, I've ended up taking the throttle body off because you can clearly see here how close the actuator is to the bracket to it. So uh, if we just undo that bracket, well, to be fair, now it just 
bend out a little way, we uh, we should hopefully be able to uh, to get it off. It's a bit of a pain, but it's now off. You can see there's just three 10 mils, then hold that on. So if, uh, if we whip that off, and we can then uh, compare the two. But, uh, I can already feel it. You can see, whether you can see it on there. The movement in there already, how that's worn, and that feels, that spring feels damn sight softer than what that one does. So we'll whip this off and uh, swap them over. So now that they're off, comparing the two, the new one or the reconditioned one does feel like the spring's got a lot more resistance against it than what the new one's, uh, than what the old one's got. And the old one, it looks like it seals all right. It's hard to get it up on camera. I've put it up to like the sunlight, well, what little sunlight there is. And it does seem to seal, but, um, but there. We'll uh, put this back onto the trumpet and then we'll have a look at uh, building it back up again. You can see it's sitting in its new home. I got a bit carried away putting this pipe on before this pipe, so I just had to whip that off quickly. But everything is on. It's all been tightened up, double checked. So clips and everything like that, all the pipes, all, all the clips of the pipes, all double checked those. So the only thing that's left to go on is in the cooler, just sitting down there. But as I said in a previous video, I cut the internals out of the cat because it had all fallen apart. And as it turns out, it's got a sports cat on it, and I'm guessing quite a cheap one, as uh, obviously hasn't lasted. So I've now got a genuine cat. I've got a brand new, brand new second-hand one to uh, to chuck in here. So I'm going to leave the intercooler off for a minute, so I can then take the core pack off, move the expansion bottle things, so then I can get the exhaust off out through the engine bay, which is how I seem to remember I'd done it before, or I took it out the bottom before, but put it back in through the top, and going through the top was a lot easier than going through the bottom. So uh, I'm just gonna do that, and then uh, we'll finish putting it all back together, and um, give it a start to make sure we've got no leaks. There's eight to 10 mil bolts that hold the manifold to the head. I've already had all this off before, so uh, it all can done nice and easily. It's a bit of a wiggle and a bit of a pain, but you can get the exhaust in and out through the uh, top, and that's a lot easier than getting it out of the bottom, like I did previously. There we go. One bypass valve changed. I've also changed the exhaust manifold downpipe cap, which is all in one bit. But typically, the last bolt I had to put in, I've dropped down there, so it's on the under tray. So I'll uh, dig that out in a second, fit that, get it off the ramps, I so jacked it up on the side just so I could get underneath to, uh, to sort the exhaust out. But, uh, we'll find him and then uh, we'll start her up and um, make sure we haven't got any leaks. So, it's all looking good, no leaks, it's just a little bit of 
oil and stuff that's burning off that exhaust manifold because that was a little bit uh, oily when I got it, but I did try to clean it up, but um, all looking good. Underneath, exhaust, there is it there, it isn't blowing, I've just felt all around that. So, uh, we're good to go. So, another little job I just want to do. It's the exhaust tips. I'm basically touching the, the balance here, so I just need to uh, drop that down very slightly on the back there. But other than that, it's purring like a kitten. That is another good job done on the Mini. I haven't taken it up the road yet, but to be fair, I think that even uh, sounds like it's running better than uh, than what it did before. So uh, I just need to drop that bit of exhaust, or try and drop that bit of exhaust. I've seen a few things about the Miltec ones. Um, just have to drop the brackets down very slightly, space them out with some washers, and that should just, just move that away. So hopefully those bolts will come undone easy enough. But um, yeah, now the cat's on, we can uh, get it MOT'd. And, um, Give it a good run before it goes to the Nürburgring in uh, April. So thanks for watching and if you haven't already done so please uh, subscribe to the channel and uh, like the video and uh, no doubt there'll be more mini content to come.